I was hollering asking if everybody was okay, hoping that somebody was in there. First, there was the car crash into a line of trees. Then there were the bodies. A woman and child found dead in a field near that car. It's a mystery that has police and the public wondering if it all fits together. That's what we're trying to figure out. Um, if, if the vehicle that was also in the field is any way related to the two deceased persons. The News Leader, broadcasting for all North Texas. Fox 4 News starts now. That car and those bodies had been in that field since at least early this morning. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. The questions now are who are the victims and how come their bodies were so far away from the crashed car? Richard Reyes, first on Fox 4 News tonight from the crash site with the latest in the police investigation. Rich. Hi, Steve. If police know what happened here, they are not telling us. All we know for sure is that the bodies of a woman and a child were found in the field behind me, some distance away from where a car had crashed into a tree. There's always deer in that field. And so I was looking for the deer and I saw the car. Amber Bentley was driving by this field along Alta Mesa Boulevard this morning, about 820, when she spotted the wrecked car and called it in. The gold Toyota Camry had crashed into a tree. From Sky 4, you can see the impact was so great that both front airbags had deployed. I pushed my OnStar button. With her two-year-old in the back seat of her car, Bentley waited until the officers arrived. Once there, they searched the car and the field, but came up empty. No one noticed the bodies. I have four kids. I couldn't imagine. An adult female and a child were not discovered for more than two hours. The woman on top of the child lying in the pasture. We're told they were found about 500 yards away from the crashed car by a man who'd come to fix the fence that was keeping grazing cattle in. Someone that was out here repairing the fence actually from the an accident, I don't know if it was again a related accident, actually found the victims in the field. From the air you can see faint tire tracks going into the grass over a private driveway and into the trees. Our homicide unit, as well as our traffic investigation, are trying to determine exactly what happened out here. We're just trying to determine if the two people are related to the car and then the cause of death of those two people. By nightfall, police had towed the car and cleared the scene, and onlookers came, like Colin Costello. I could come up with half a dozen different hypotheses, none of whom would be relevant to what actually happened. Drawn by the baffling mystery that police have yet to explain. Police told us no identifications was found, were found on the bodies, that no obvious signs of trauma were observed. They couldn't even tell us, Steve, whether the child was a boy or a girl. Hmm. All right, Rich, Mrs. Bentley, who you interviewed, said she saw the car about 8 this morning. Is that a commuter roadway? What, what's the road condition like maybe at that time or in general? And is it possible somebody wouldn't have seen this, or is it a pretty well-traveled road? A ab absolutely positive. In fact, about a half a block away and across the street, there's a couple of buildings, uh, the commercial buildings, but they wouldn't have been open at night. If this happened at night, there's virtually nothing behind us and there's woods uh, that way. Uh, it, if it happened at night, it's very possible nobody saw what happened. And during the day, even she was, the, the bodies were found back from the road far enough and maybe 500 yards away from the car. It's, it's very clear why nobody spotted these things together. And again, police are not even confirming that the car crash and the bodies are related. I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, they, they, there's a possibility the two aren't even related. Okay, Richard Ray will stay on it and we know you will too. Thank you.